Today, this day will be a lot of deliverance. On Friday, we had a massive one. Every, so many people were delivered on Friday. So today, I'm going to, to bring another deliverance this morning. God will step into your situation and restore you. God is God will, will step. God is one to step into your situation and restore you. And restore restoration is coming. Yes, the Lord is going to step into your situation. The Lord Almighty is coming to your ways. The Lord is coming to your problem that you are facing. The stress you are facing. The disappointed that you are facing. God is coming to you. God is coming to, to you to, to, to take. God will come into your, your, your situation right now. He's, he's coming to your situation right now in Jesus' name. God will step into your situation and restore. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I'm going to read from the book of Genesis 18 verse 4. Genesis 18 verse 4. The Bible says, is, ask God, ask God today. The Bible says, is there is anything too hard for God? Is anything too hard for God? Thank you for inviting your, your, your friends, yes. Is anything too hard for God? Ask God today. Ask God. I am asking you. You also ask God. I am asking you. Is there anything too, too hard for God? Nothing is too difficult to God. Nothing is too difficult to God. Nothing is hard to God. That's why he will come to step on your situation. He's coming to your situation. He's coming to help you. He's coming to deliver you. The Lord Almighty. Is there anything? Is, is anything too hard for God? It is impossible for God to re resurrect your dead marriage. It is impossible. Hallelujah. To God, it, 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 to God, to God, it is not impossible. It is possible to Lord to resurrect your marriage. Many people, their marriage has been attacked, but the Lord will restore, will come and restore your marriage. The Lord is going to step into your marriage, into your finances, into your situation, into, the, into your children. Anything that is working against you, the Lord will step into it. Your situation, it is nothing. Don't cry. You have been crying a lot. Your time has come now. The Lord Almighty will step into your situation and restore back. No matter what situation you are facing, no matter what you are facing today, tomorrow, this week, this month, God will step it. God is one to step and deliver you. God is delivering you in the name of Jesus. The answer you give to this question will determine the outcome of this prayer. If you believe that nothing is too difficult for God and it is possible for God to resurrect your dead marriage, then God will step into your situation and restore the love between your spouse and yourself. If you think, hallelujah, thank you, Father. If you think that if, if everything is, 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 is possible to God, the Lord is going to step into your situation and restore your finances your finances. God is going to step into your situation and restore your, 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 your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Things that you have lost, the Lord is going to step and restore them. You, you have lost your business, you have lost your job, the Lord is going to step into it and, and he will restore it back to you in Jesus' name. The only thing is just believe in God and plant the seed of God. Plant a seed if you are looking for a miracle. Put down payment. That is how it is. If you cannot plant a seed for point of contact for your situation, it would be difficult. Yes, God, it is not. The Bible says, is anything too difficult for God? 
God cannot, there's some things. Yes, there is nothing difficult to God. God. God is God. God can change everything if he wants. It, God can do anything as long as he's in the throne. God Almighty is God. He's the one who created. If he wants to turn a miracles, if he can, if today God will say, that, okay, today I'm going to change the height of people. All the peoples will start growing big, 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 big. God can do that. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We know that God is able. Our God is able to, to meet your situation. Our God is able to deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. There had been a testimony of couples who, who separated for seven years, several years, coming together again by the sovereign decision of God. One person could be born again and another would be praying. Hallelujah. The Lord will reunite the two. The Lord will reunite your separation. The Lord will reunite back your marriage. The Lord will reunite back what you have lost in the name of Jesus Christ. If your case seems hopeless, this prayer this prayer points for you. It is for you. If you are, if you are, if you are hope, if 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 your case seems hopeless, this prayer points we are going to pray are for you. God, God who is specialist in doing impossible, impossible will step into your situation and restore and resurrect your debt, marriage, resurrect your financial. Your, your financial problem, resurrect what you have lost. The Lord is a specialist of doing things. The Lord is a, the God who is a specialist in doing impossible will step into your situation. No matter what situation you are, you, you, are, you, you are in right now, the Lord is coming to deliver you. Hallelujah. Because it's, there, there's nothing difficult for God. God has remembered you. You've been wondering, you have been working hard. You, you, you just wonder, what can I do? I met a man yesterday. And this man was, was very bitter, was complaining. He was like, how can I? I am 45 years. I have not married. I can't have a, I get a beautiful woman to marry. But now the woman left me. I can't have, I have no children. So this man was complaining and he's a lawyer. <laughs> He's a lawyer. He's a man from Africa. So he was saying, I have a good job. I have money. But I can't marry. What is wrong with me? Why can't I marry? Why can't a woman live with me? What is wrong? Yeah? The, the, the enemy said, well, be a lawyer, have everything, have money, but you cannot have a woman. You cannot have children. So the man is trying to marry. No woman can live with him. So he was saying, what can I do? Who can tell me what's wrong with me? So I told him, I know what's wrong with him. And then I started asking him a few questions. He said, yes, yes, are you a prophet? Are you a prophet? When I was asking him some questions, what, how the dreams and what, how his life is, he, then he starts asking, are you a prophet? How did you know this? I said, yes, I am. You see, if you are sleeping and then you have what we call a spirit wife or a spirit husband, it is very difficult for such a person to get married. Or your marriage can stay. Those are the spirit which hates you. They come and steal everything from you. You know, this is what is happening to many, many, many people. And they have no idea why these things are happening. Even to get married is very difficult for you. So today, even if you are married, this spirit will come and take away your marriage. You will find your husband hates you with perfect hatred. He doesn't want even to see you. You will see a wife, your wife started to hate you completely, no talk, no sex, nothing. From that, that powers of the enemy. We pray that God will deliver you today in Jesus' name. They, they are responsible for your money. They will come and take your money. They are responsible for your business. They will come and take your business. They will exchange. I was praying with a man. And this man, he was having business. And this business, 
Uh, his money was polluted. That's the work of this evil spirit. You need your money to be delivered. Some of you, your money has been polluted. Your money has been destroyed. You need the, the power of resurrection, the power of God to resurrect your finances. That's why you can't have money. You will have today a lot of money. Tomorrow you are nothing. You have nothing. You, you start begging. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need, we, need, we, need, we need to ask God to step into our situation. He's ready to step into your situation and change your circumstances in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be the same again in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, my God and my Father, I want to thank you, God. I want to bless your name, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prepared some prayer yesterday, and uh, I want this prayer to, you can pray them. They are very powerful that this prayer will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let's look in the book of John. John 11, verse 25. The book of John 11, 25. The Bible says, I am, resurrect I am the resurrection and the, and the life. He, he that believeth in me through the dead, yet he shall, he shall, he shall live. Jesus Christ is the resurrection. Jesus Christ is the life. He believed in, he believed in him through the death, yet he shall live. Jesus Christ is resurrection and life. Jesus Christ is it. I am resurrection. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Yes. God is God. I'm reading from the from I want to see this what as the scripture says from NIV. This is King James. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Jesus said to her, I am resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, although he died, yet he, he live. Yes. I am resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, although they, they dead, yet shall he live. And he has said, although he has said true. So I, that's why I wanted to check that. So the Lord, the, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Yes. Is the resurrection without any doubt, yes, and the life. Thank you, treasure. We thank God that Jesus Christ is the resurrection. He says, I am resurrection. Jesus is resurrection. Jesus is the life. If you believe, only believe, believe in him. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. In Romans 4, verse 17, in the book of Romans 4, verse 17, the Bible says, as it is written, I have made the, thee the father of men nation before him. He believed, even God who quickened the dead and called it those which, he, which be not as, as though they were. It is written, I have made thee father of many nations before him. He believed even God who quickens the dead and called those we, which be not as though they were. If you believe in him, Abraham believed in God and God made him a great nation of many, uh, many nations. So it is all about to believe that God will step into your, your situation. Just believe. As, we, as I'm going to pray for you, you believe that situation you are in, that, that, that thing which is bothering your head, the Lord is going to deliver you in Jesus' name. 
God is going to God, God will step into your situation and restore everything that you have lost. Our God is a good God. Don't complain, don't blame God. God is not responsible for your problem. If you think God is responsible for your, your problem, repent. He loves you. He's, he, God loves you so much. God is not responsible for your problem. Just repent and ask God to, to forgive you and your forefathers. And also go to our website. There is a video that, I, that came out on Friday night. It is called Iron Feet Deliverance. Python uh, Python and 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 uh, Python and serpent and spirit. That Python has been uh, many people have been beaten by the Python and they have no idea. So that go there and God will help you. There is Python that has been eating your marriage, eating your finances, coming to destroy your your ma destroy everything you have. And they are responsible with the spirit the husband. They are responsible with the spirit the wife. They are responsible for polluting your money. They are responsible for, for witchcraft to attack you. So that's why the Lord will step into your situation and change your circumstances around you. Yes, the Lord is going to step to you and restore back what you have lost in Jesus' name. I am praying that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Ask the Father to forgive you in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord for his resurrection power. The power of resurrection. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Command, command, command your marriage to come alive. In the name of Jesus. Command every situation you are facing. Don't fear anything. The spirit of fear. Command them to come out of your life in Jesus name. There is nothing that is going to happen to you. Don't fear. Command that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you the spirit of fear to get out of my life in the name of Jesus. Command every situation you are facing, you are facing your right, right now. Command them to die. You have to speak with the situation. You, you speak with the problem that you are facing right now. As I would pray for you. I command you by the power in the blood of Jesus. To get out of my life in Jesus' name. I am speaking to you. That anyone who is being troubling. Who is having that stress. It will die right now in the name of Jesus. Believe the word of God. And God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus. Walk into your every second of your marital Life and heal all the wounds. Created by the enemies in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord let all satanic forces contributing to kill your, your marriage, to kill you, let them be baptized in the name of Jesus. I am praying that God Almighty let every activity of your household enemy, of your ministry, of your calling, of your situation to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Some of you, as I said earlier, your marriage has been damaged so much. Your marriage has been attacked so much. But the Lord Almighty will destroy the enemies of your marriage. I have been talking that because I know some, somebody is a marriage or is a marriage is being attacked very hard. You will not be divorced. You will not divorce. I cancel that, that, that divorce in Jesus' name. I destroy the spirit of divorce. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. People are facing some situation. It's not only that, that, that marriage. Many men of you, you are facing situation of financial finances. Some of you, you, are, you have been working so hard, but nothing. I pray and break every demon, every enemies of your finances. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. You know, I tell people, they think that pastors, they love money. Pastor is talking about money, money, money. It's not so. It's not so. I know some of you, your money has been attacked. Your finances has been attacked. They have been polluted. The witchcraft have taken your money to their condom, to their coven. Yes, brother. You know, some of you, you have no idea how the enemy is attacking your finances. 
you just wonder why you can't have money, why you can't have a job. The witchcraft, they know these things, and you children of God, you have no idea what they do about it. That's why you need the financial deliverance. I'm going to bring that topic. Trust and mind me to do. I told you to remind me some stuff, but you also forgot like me. Anyway, I'm going to do financial healing so that your finance can be delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Maybe I'm going to do between midnight. That would be very good midnight. Tomorrow midnight, I'm going to do something about finances. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, welcome. Uh, continue giving me the hearts. Let, 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 let partner begin to have dreams and vision that will lead the resurrection of your marriage in the name of Jesus. Let you start having dreams that will connect you with the divine helper. That will wipe away your tears. That will take away every problem that you are facing in the name of Jesus Christ. You will start begin to have visions and dreams. That will take away every tears, every problem that you are facing in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, you are so good, God. Yes, my Father. I pray every arrow shoot into your life from underwater by witchcraft power. I command them to come out, to come out right now in Jesus' name and to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I pray that every arrow that has been fired into your life, the, the arrows of witchcraft that has been fired into your life, every arrow that has been fired you know, the arrows, the arrow of fear, it can be fired to you and then you start, fear start coming to you, it comes to you and you start having panic attack. That is an arrow. The arrow of sickness can fire in, can be fired into you, and then you start getting sickness from nowhere. The arrows of, the arrows of witchcraft can, witchcraft can send the arrow, it could cross you. And you find yourself in a situation where you, you, you get so much confused. That arrow, I command them to go back to the center in Jesus' name. Arrows of dreaming, bad dreams, dead people, dream, dream evil. Those arrows, I fire them back to the center. Every dreams that you have been dreaming, wicked and evil, satanic dreams, I fire them back to the center in the name of Jesus. You, you've been dreaming that you are walking, walking, climbing to the mountain, walking so hard in the dream. Those, those are the arrows. I sent them back to the sender in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, thank you. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. My God, my sister, thank you for coming. I pray for you right now. Right now, I am praying for you, my sister. Right now, by the power and the blood of Jesus, any military transferred into your body through contact with any marine witchcraft agents, I command them to be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. I am praying every sexual pollution of marine husband, wife in your body be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Any evil name given to you under any water, I reject them. I pray be rejected in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will restore your marriage, will restore your money, will restore your job in Jesus' name. I break and destroy you, spirit, husband. I, I command you to die completely in the life of, of these people that you are tormenting. People are going through difficulty right now. I am praying that is there anything too difficult for God? God is going to restore back what you have lost. The Lord Almighty, He knows what you are going through. It's only the matter of trust and belief that God will deliver you from that situation. You would not, God would, the Bible says, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, Psalms 37, verse 30 to 32, yes, 
Psalms, Psalms 37, verse 30 to 32. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and his tongue speaks justice. The law of the law, the law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip up. The wicked watches for the righteous and seek to put him to death. You see, verse, verse 32. Look at verse 32. The Bible says, the, the, the wicked watches for the righteous and seek to put him to death. The Lord will not abandon him. The Lord will not abandon him to his power or let him to condemn when he is brought to trial. The Lord will not let the wicked to destroy you. The Lord will not let the wicked. I like King James. Look at that scripture. Remember, claim that scripture. The Lord, the wicked will plan to put you to death. The Lord will not leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Lord will never leave you in the hands of the wicked. You are stretching right now. The Lord will not want to leave you there. That's why he will come and step to step to your stretching. The Lord Almighty will never leave you. Meditate upon that scripture. Psalms, Psalms 30 to, 30, to 33. Psalms 30 to 33. If you are facing any stretching right now, Meditate upon that scripture. And Psalm 37, verse 25, the Bible says, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have I've not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. Yes, this is what the Bible says. The Bible has promised you. David was young, is now old. He has never seen God abandon him. Or a student begging bread. God will never leave you. You are stretching where you are, you are, you are there right now. The Lord is going to step, step to you and restore you. The Lord loves you so much. Therefore, God will, himself will not let you, the, the wicked, to destroy you. I, am, I pray all the time this scripture. That is my scripture that... I can remember all the time when I'm first in difficulty, I say, God, you cannot leave me in the hands of the enemy. The Lord will destroy the enemy. That is God has promised. He will never leave you, my sister. God will never you all forsake you. There are some promises that God will never break this covenant. God can do anything, but God, is, the, God loves you. If you stay there, humble yourself. Don't, don't condemn God. Don't fight God. The Bible says, check your heart. Because they say, cause where they say, curse. The Lord Almighty loves you, and it's not Him who is fighting you, it's the enemy. What your forefathers done, you repent and bring them down. Do the right thing. And then you see, God will not, God will not help you. Many people are facing very difficult situations. Look at that lawyer. He's 45 years. He has not married. He doesn't have children. He said he, he married three, three women. And he's a, a, a black man. He's not even a white person. All the women, they just come and leave him and they go to marry to another, another man. And they, they, they have good life there. And this man, the, the lawyer man, cannot even have a, a wife. He was very bitter. They said, why God is doing to me like this? I said, it's not God. God is not responsible for that. God is the one who created man and woman. So you should have your family. Now here, the man cannot have a wife. So something is not right. And God himself cannot let you into the hands of the enemy. It's not God. It's the enemy, Satan, Lucifer. What your forefather did is what is tormenting you. That's why you need to break those curses. That's why you need to destroy the works of the enemy. The problem many, many people are facing, it is what 
their fathers have done, now they are attacking them. The Lord Jesus Christ has paid every curses. Therefore, just believe it and break them and repent. Do the right thing. The Lord will help you. Yes. Every problem that you are facing, I break them. Let me bring the prayers that I prepared that I want you to confess. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to worship you, God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. This prayer, I prepared, and I want you to do them very aggressive. The prayer, this prayer, it is going to deliver thousands and thousands of people around the world. I was praying at this prayer, and if you can write them or not, I will write them and send them to you today. If you are facing a situation where you need God to intervene, God to step down, I will pray with you these prayers. My sister, I did to you the prayer, the same prayer. I hope you are doing good. I hope things are changing. And we are going to pray this prayer. Yes. Let me get your email. Let me let your, your cell phone. I'm going to type it. My sister, Treasure, is going to type it. My personal secretary, Treasure. And you, I need you to come and type this, 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 this uh, prayer. And then we can mail it to people. These prayers, it is for this week. Pray as much as you can pray. It is a deliverance prayer. Yes, demonic circle must die. Yes, thank you so much, treasure. You need this. I sent some prayers last night, but not last night, the other day. Those prayers, the prayer points that I gave to you. These prayers, there are, there are seven. Let me see. Yes, there are seven prayers. We are the month of, of, of we are the month of, 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 of seven, the month of Judah. So these prayers are seven very powerful prayers which was given by, by my prophet. It's the prophet, the prophet is the one who gave me this prayer. And then we were praying and I write them down. So and the prayers is going to deliver thousands and millions of people around the world. Anybody who will hear the videos. Anybody will hear this voice. This prayer is going to deliver them. The children of the devil, whether they like it or not, the Lord, our God, is going to deliver you from the situation you are facing right now in Jesus' name. Our number to reach me is 647 608-5207 Treasure, write that number 647-608-5207 That is the number you can call me to give you the number Thank you Treasure if you, That is our cell phone I, Because I will put it on cell phone and text you If you, if you don't have to take a cell phone You can send me your email I Treasure is here It's coming to, to, to put this a prayer for you Thank you, thank you, Apostle David. Ah, David, thank you, thank you, man of God. Thank you, prophet. Apostle David is a is an apostle and a prophet. Thank you, David. <laughs> yes, yes, David, I love you. I love your son. <laughs> thank you so much, David. Hallelujah. Yes, God is good. Yes, you can email to us overcomers d h at gmail.com. Treasure, correct that, 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 that email properly. Overcomers, dhm at gmail.com. That is our email. Our email is overcomers, d dog, h house, m mother at gmail.com. Overcomers. Yes. Overcomers dhm at gmail.com. Yes, God, we thank you, Father. Yes, I will pray for you. Thank you, my, 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 my prophet. Thank you so much, David. God bless you. 
Hallelujah. My Father, my God, I want to thank you, God. I want to bless your name once again. This prayer, as you, you go to God, ask the Father to forgive you anything that will stand against you, anything will hinder God to bless you, any power, any demons that will stop you from receiving the blessings of God. I am going to, to ask you to confess this prayer. It says like this. Any dead person, any dead person that is, is, is trying me down, release me now in the name of Jesus. Any dead person that is trying me down, Release me now in Jesus' name. Any dead person that is trying you down, you say, trying me down. Release me in the name of Jesus. There is power of dead people who are trying you down, who are pushing you to the floor, who are pushing you down. I command them to release you in Jesus' name. Play like this. Garment of nakedness and shame. I am not your candidate. Catch fire in Jesus' name. Garment of nakedness and shame. I am not. Yes, that is correct. I am not your candidate. Catch fire in Jesus' name. That's the prayer you, you pray. You will not be put to shame. The enemy wants to disgrace you. When the enemy is taking your wife, is taking your husband, now you will be disgraced and shame, naked. If the enemy is taking your money, taking your business, you have been having a big store. Now you have nothing. That is disgrace. That is naked. So I pray that all this power, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Pray like this. Finger of the wicked, come out of my body in Jesus' name. Finger of the wicked, finger of the wicked, come out of my body. Because the wicked are pointing you, pointing the finger to you. So let that finger of the wicked to come out from your body in the name of Jesus. You know some people, there are demonic people who can point you like this, and then something will happen to you. Very demonic. That finger, they say, we'll see how you will prosper. We will see how you will be married. We will see how that marriage will stay. We will see how you will work, to, you will get that job. Let them, let that being, finger to be cut off in Jesus' name. Yes. Finger of the wicked, come out of my body in the name of Jesus. Yes, treasure. Finger of the wicked, come out of my body in the name of Jesus. Finger of the wicked, come out of my body. Pray very aggressive. You, you, have, you don't know the enemy pointed you. The enemy, the enemy has marked you. The enemy has pointed you. So you can do everything. You can work, work. You can do, but when the enemy has pointed you, you cannot go anywhere. That's why you command that finger to be weathered and to leave your body in the name of Jesus. Powers of determined to make you cry. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of determined to make you, to make me cry. Die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Powers determined to make me cry. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that will make you cry. Any power that make you to, to, to be sad. Any power that make you to cry day and night. Any power that make you make that pain. Let them die in the name of Jesus. You command those power to die. You should not let any power to make you to cry. You have to stop them. Is it your children? Is this money? Is it sickness? What does that make you to cry? What, what tragedy? What problem are you facing that will make you to cry? I command them to die. This month, this year, no power from the pit of hell that will make you to cry in Jesus' name. My Father, in the name of Jesus, any power that's making the, this person to cry, die. 
powers determined to make me cry. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. You pray that prayer. There will be no power of darkness, no power from the pit of hell that will make you to cry. You have been crying a lot. Remember, you have been crying a lot. Now your time is up to celebrate and rejoice. In, in right now, any power programmed in your life to make you cry, let them die. You will not cry. You will not face that situation. Your case will change. God is going to step to, your, to you and change your circumstances. God is going to step and store back what the enemy has taken. That's why you will not cry. There will be no sadness that is coming to your way. Any plug, any problem, anything the enemy is planning to make you cry, I command them to die. Yes, thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Any powers determined, you know there's powers that determined, they are determined there to make you cry. They don't want to leave you. My sister, Takwa, this power must die. You will not cry anymore. You will not cry, my sister. Any power costing you to cry, let them die. Any, any power that assigned to stay permanent, they make you to cry. You will never be happy. Let this power fall down and die in the name of Jesus. I pray that some people are facing some difficult some situation that they have been crying. They, can't, they, they are not happy. The devil, you are a liar. Get out of from that marriage. Get out from that person. Get out from that man right now in Jesus' name. I pray that every situation that will make you to cry, die, die, die in the name of Jesus. I cast them from the roots in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the power of God that he created the heaven and the earth to destroy every situation that you are facing that will make you to cry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Powers expanding your battle today die. The powers that are expanding battles, the power that is expanding problem, they are there to expand your problem. They, this problem does not go. They are permanent there. I am setting them fire of God to burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Let the fire of God burn them from the roots in Jesus' name. I dismantle and I uproot them. That problem that is staying, they don't want to leave you. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my God, I want to thank you, God. That dreams... The dreams that does not want to go. Anything inviting those dreams. With, wherever they are. Anything in your house. What you don't know. But you have been dreaming. Very serious dreaming. I am commanding the fire of God to burn them to ashes in Jesus name. Yes Lord. Pray this prayer. Pray like this. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost arise. Deliver me from satanic detention in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise. Deliver me from, from, from satanic detention. You ask the Holy Ghost, arise to deliver you from satanic detention. This is the prayer, seven prayer points. You need to do meditate, meditate upon all the time. You need to come out from satanic detention. You, some of you, you have been De detentioned by the devil. They put you in detention. The detention is where people are kept. They are not trial. You are not going to court. You are being detentioned. detentioned. So therefore, I come against satanic detention. Satanic detention, I send them. I command that detention house where they are putting you to catch fire and burn to ashes. When you are detentioned by the devil, by Satan, you cannot move. Even your ministry cannot go anywhere. So that I command that detention to catch fire. And as any satanic, yes, Holy Ghost, arise. Deliver me from satanic detention in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, arise. Arise. Deliver me from satanic detention. Stop the bare scope and the copy that prayer point. 
if you cannot copy them, just send me your email, your, 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 your phone, your cell phone, I will mail it to you. This prayer, you need them. Detention, satanic detention. Many people are there and they have no idea. That's why you, you, you are a sacco, sacco, because you are in detention. If, if people are in detention, they, can't, they, they are there many years, no trial. You can mean that your prayers does not go anywhere. You pray, you pray nothing. Because the devil has put you in detention. Yes, Lord, my God and my Father, I destroy the powers of detention. Satanic detention, I cast you out of these people in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are a wonderful God. My God and my Father, I want to thank you. Uh, if you feel you, you are stressed or you fear something is going to happen to you, I am prophesied against you. Against that problem in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel the demon that is making you to fear, make you, you your mind that, that you, you feel like something is going to happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to you. You will succeed. Remember, the scripture said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are a child of God. I am standing with you right now and rebuke and cast out every problem that will make you to feel like that in the name of jesus christ i am attacking the sickness that is that has been programmed by the devil i am attacking that demon that has been tormenting you the whole night i destroy them in the name of jesus christ your marriage is going to be restored 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 my sister there will be no divorce i cancel it in jesus name your husband i i love yesterday uh, there's a, there's a, my, my dear friend, she was been having trouble. In fact, she was on her way to file divorce. She started coming to our prayers. And surprisingly, yesterday, we went to Nagla Falls, and they were there with their husband. With their, with their husband. I told them, oh my God, enjoy your honeymoon. Because this woman, this dear friend of mine, she was on her way. I didn't know. But when she joined our prayer, when I was praying for her, I saw that she was filing a case. I canceled it. And she was very bitter. That this, my son, my, my daughter, they are here. They can be my witness. They have been living very, very bitter life. They don't love each other. They don't talk. Everybody was doing it, their own thing. But I thank God that God has restored them back. Yours is going to be restored too. I thank the Lord that God is able. I didn't know this. And prepared this message. It, it was the message I was supposed to share on Saturday. But because I was tired, I was not able to come on prayer, prayer, prayer line. So I believe that you, you are, yours is coming too. Any stress that you are in right now, this depressed that you are going through what the enemy is doing to you, I destroy them. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. My son and my daughter and Kay, if you are in the line, say amen. Say big amen in Jesus' name. Dave, say big amen in Jesus' name. Doing are you on the prayer line? Say amen, big amen. Because I know restoration is coming. Jesus is going to restore everything that you have lost. The pain that you are going through right now is dead. I destroy them in Jesus' name. I command them to be furnished by the power and the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. Any power that is attacking you, that wants you to cry, I destroy them. I pray and I prophesy against the situation that you are facing because the Lord says, prophesy against them. God has given me power and authority to prophesy any situation that you are facing. My work is to come against any works of the devil. That's why God is calling me, this ministry of deliverance and healing ministry, prophetically to prophesy against the situation that you are facing. I dismantled them and I uprooted them. God has given me power to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Call me, I will pray with you. Our number is 647-608-5207. You can reach us also this line, 905-787-7196. That's our number you can reach us. I will pray with you. I need to pray with you and break that problem that you are facing. You are not alone. You are not alone, my sister, my brothers. 
You have joined a family where we know spiritual warfare. We will attack them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. You are not alone. Stop crying. You are not alone. Two or three are gathered in the midst is there. The Lord has given us power to bind. Anything we bound here on the earth, in heaven will be bound. Anything we lose here on the earth, heaven will lose them. I know that because the Bible says so. So we cut every powers of darkness. You've been tempted all the time. You try to fast, you find yourself being tempted. Let me pray that God Almighty will restore you. God Almighty will protect you, will bring you divine protection in Jesus' name. I pray that God would deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. People are wondering, when will God mention my case? You, you, you wonder you want God to mention your case to tell you what, is, what you are facing. What you are facing right now is two things. Some, some of you, you have been attacked from this, the witchcraft spirit from marine kingdom, from the water. That's why you need you need me to pray for you to destroy water spirit over your life in Jesus' name. Some people, the witchcraft are attacking you from the trees. They have tied some stuffs in the trees. So you need it to, be, to bring them down in Jesus' name. Some of them, their witches have programmed, they, have, they, they put their witch, witchcraft in the sky. They have been attacked by the sky. That's why we pray that God would attack the, the demon and witchcraft and wizards. Any power of witchcraft, wherever they are placed them, in the sky, in the moon, in the sun, let those power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I was praying with a woman, and this woman was from German. And her problem was being attacked by the sky. The witches, they programmed, they, 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 they attacked this woman from the sky. And that's simple. When you know the problem is being attacked, you, you face that problem and then you bring it down. It's just like a doctor. We have family doctor and we have specialist doctor. When I had my eyes, the eye doctor told me to go to see the specialist doctor. And when the specialist doctor looked at my eye and they told me the problem, then I said, okay, I know the problem. I already know the problem. I just wanted you to tell me what is it. My eye was a big, the glory was coming here. And, and, and it was covering my eye. I prayed the glory went off. I don't have anything. You can see my eyes. This side here, my left arm, my left eye. There was something that was growing big, covering my eye. When the doctor told me they, they, they are going to pray to remove it, I said, okay, that's okay. But leave it. Let me deal with it. I prayed God. Sometimes I was almost nearly going blind. I was not able to see properly. But through the grace of God, I had to attack the enemy, the spirit of blind that the enemy has programmed in me, and they were using the sun to attack me. So I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Some people, you have been attacked from the grave, from the dead people. That's why we pray the prayer point, any dead person trying you down shall release you in Jesus' name. Some of you, you have been attacked from the grave. They go and they witch, the, the wicked people, it's all about the wicked people. God hates the wicked every day. God hates them so badly. God himself hates the wicked every day. So the wicked, they, they know what to do, how to, to, to do things in the darkness to affect you. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I pray every wicked power, wickedness, hear the word of God. Release these people and let them go free in Jesus' name. This is, this, you know, the, the wicked, they, they plan and they do things start working against you. And you are a child of God. You have power. You have the authority. We have been given power to trumpet the serpents and scorpions. Therefore, people of God, you have to open your mouth and, and speak up against this word. Against what the devil is doing against you. You've been praying, you pray for yourself. People tell me, I pray, I pray for myself. I pray, I pray nothing is happening. I am attacking the enemy that is attacking your prayers. You know even your prayers can be bloated. The devil is a liar. 
He uses all methods to bring you down. That's why we have the prayers that God was saying. Any power that is trying, that's, that's trying you down. That is tying you down. They, they may tie you, uh, your hands and your feet, and they put you down. So you cannot rest up. You are just there. I bring those powers down and I destroy them. I step on them in the name of Jesus. There's a video that I want you to go and, and watch and listen many times. It is one to deliver you. That video of God, Iron Feet, Deliverance, of, of, of our Python and Serpentine. If you have not gone to our website, our, our website or YouTube, go there and help yourself with that video. There's a lot of prayer point. It will deliver you. That's many, 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 many of you have been attacked by the, by the demons called Serpentine and, and the Pythons. Go to our website www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca The videos is there, it will help you. I'm going to upload some two videos today, including this one to help you. So God will help you, and I pray that if you have not called me, if you, have, you need prayer, call me. Call me, I will pray with you. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. See you tonight. Not tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Monday. To, today, tonight, we don't have prayer. I see people calling me tonight. They, they call me nights. So today, Sunday, we have no night prayer. We have no midnight prayer. We are starting night, midnight tomorrow, Monday. We'll go some nights, four nights. That's what we are going to do this month of May, this month of July. The month of July, we are going to have four nights. We are studying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four nights. Then the rest will come day. So don't confuse yourself. Come midnight, prayer line will be on. Midnight, prayer line will be on. And all the media will be on. So midnight prayer line will be on. And if you want to stay on prayer line to pray, you can stay there and we will pray. And when we have prayer line, I always ask people to give me their prayer request. So when you come prayer line to, 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 tomorrow night, make sure you bring me your prayer, what you want us to pray. We will be praying. I want people to get used in prayer line so that we can pray and talk to each other. Prayer line is very good connection. And there's no intervention, interference like periscope. So I ask you to come to prayer line and, and, and we pray together tomorrow. If you don't have a if you don't have a, a wrong distance, you can get a card. The card has thousands of minutes. And I'm not going to stay for long to, to take away your minutes. That's why I consider to stay a few minutes, then we finish from there. God bless you so much. See you. See you tomorrow midnight. Tomorrow 12 midnight. Monday midnight. No, mid, mid, no midnight today. Today, Saturday, we don't have midnight. Join us midnight tomorrow Monday. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow midnight Monday. I am saying this because I know people, they forget. I don't know if they don't listen to this. They still call me midnight. Is there a prayer? And I'm telling you that we don't have prayer today. It will start tomorrow midnight. I don't know your time. Here it will be 12 midnight. So join us. God will bless you so much. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you. Bye. Call me, I will pray with you. Thank you so much. I don't know what... <laughs>